So the wife and I just got back from 417 Tap House here in Springfield, Missouri to check out the latest and greatest Stern pinball release that is Foo Fighters. Tap House got a Foo Fighters Pro machine and got to play it for a while, got some dedicated time on it, and I thought I would share my thoughts and opinions and basically just my first overall gameplay impressions of the Foo Fighters pinball machine. So in regards to the artwork and the animation, a big shout out to Zombie Yeti because he once again did an absolutely phenomenal job on the artwork on this machine. Uh, I will make no ifs, ands, or buts. I absolutely love everything he's done in the pinball world. I'm a huge fan of Zombie Yeti's work. This machine in particular just looks glorious. He did a fantastic job. Obviously he's already got that um, prerequisite uh, history with Foo Fighters designing concert posters before he came over into the pinball world. So it just makes perfect sense that he would be the graphic designer for the artwork package on this machine. And again, I think he did an absolutely amazing job. Uh, the animations on this are great. There's lots of humor and I wouldn't consider this, you know, flat or lifeless animation. It's really well integrated. Uh, the humor in particular, uh, like there's lots of little tidbits in the callouts as well as the displays on the animation. Uh, the Saturday morning cartoon slash Scooby-Doo gang vibe that's going on with the, the Foo Saturday morning special uh, integration with the theme is just absolutely hysterical. I love it. It's perfect. And it's a nice breakup of the normal monotonous uh, music pens where it's just, you know, static uh, concert videos or something like that where music's playing in the background. It's the same old, same old. It's, it's nice to see something different, something a little more vibrant. And I think they did an excellent job in that aspect of this game. And in regards to humor, one of my absolute favorite things about this pinball machine, um, oddly enough, is a, a slight little Easter egg. Inside the goodie bag, there's a secondary plastic that goes on the Overlord's fist uh, that changes out one of his fists for uh, him flipping the robot middle finger to you. And I think that's just hilarious um, childhood humor. Yeah, I get it. I don't care. But uh, I think it's a nice little touch and a tip of the cap to uh, just how goofy this band is and how uh, playful they can be. Now there's a lot of things on this layout that probably will make you think uh, of Deadpool, which it shouldn't be really shocking. Jack Danger said on numerous occasions that the pro version of the Deadpool Stern machine is his absolute favorite machine of all time. Uh, there's a couple of things I think are just like absolutely uh, tip of the caps, you know, odes to George Gomez and his Deadpool design. Specifically the left ramp over here on Foo Fighters, it's pretty much identical to the left ramp of Deadpool. It feeds a little bit differently, but essentially where it's placed on the machine and its angle and everything is pretty close to the Deadpool left ramp, as well as the Overlord uh, multi-ball area. It's very similar to the Little Deadpool area. Obviously there's little drop targets on the Little Deadpool, but it's a little bit different, but it's again, very similar in that aspect and I, I'm a-okay with that. It's a great way to get a quick multi-ball with that Overlord. Um, I like the little forks that come up and lock the ball. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's a very fast and very combo heavy game. Um, this is absolutely a shooter's dream. Like I said, you can just sit there and rip combos for days. One of my absolute favorite combos that I found myself just repeating uh, to infinity was hitting the spinner and then it comes around into the outer orbit and depending on how sharp your gameplay uh, skills are, you can continue to loop that orbit over and over and over again, or you can time it just a little bit differently and you'll hit that upper left ramp and it comes back down and around and feeds back down to the right flipper and you can hit that spinner and do it all over again and just rip it over and over and over again. Super satisfying to hit that. Going back to that left ramp, it is very easy to backhand it, which is good. I found myself having a little bit of trouble hitting it on the fly off the right flipper, but to catch it in a cradle and that left flipper and just backhand it and start your mode, very, very satisfying, very easy to do. And one of the things on the layout, which is actually kind of surprising to me, was the Area 51 ramp. Uh, just top down looking at that machine right out of the gate, you think, okay, that's probably, probably gonna be one of the easiest shots to hit. No, 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 that ramp is actually pretty dang steep and depending on how well you're uh, playing, you're gonna have some trouble with that. In fact, I had to have very clean shots to get it all the way up and around. Obviously that's dependent on how your machine's gonna be set up, but this one was set up standard with the bubble dead set in the middle and off the left flipper. If I didn't have a super clean hit off that, I'd get it all the way up to the tip and it would come right back down and I'd miss my shot. So it was a little bit deceptive, which is nice. You know, it gives you a little bit of a, a challenge, if you will, to really get that multi-ball started. 
There's loads and loads of skill shots on this game, which is great. There's, you know, something for everyone. There's little easy accidental ones you can find, or there's super secret ones. In fact, there's a super secret six-way combo one for all the people out there that really like a challenge. Things like that I always think are amazing to be included because it, you know, just blows it out of the water in terms of here's your basic skill shot, hit this target while the light is roaming or something like that. No, no, no. They got loads and loads of skill shots out there for you. As of making this video and when I got to test the machine, the code is currently sitting at 0.90 and I gotta say it already feels extremely well polished. It's not like they just rushed this out the door. Uh, it, if it stopped today at 0 0.90, I think there would be a lot of people extremely happy with where it sits right now. Uh, there was a couple things I noticed while playing that I thought were just, you know, a mwah as far as the coding aspect of it. Uh, when you're selecting your cities, going through, picking for your modes, uh, one key detail that I noticed on the play field is as you're selecting your cities, it illuminates the different shots on the play field with different colors, letting you know what shots you'll need to hit for that particular mode. Uh, if you've started that mode and you kind of failed and you want to go back to it to complete it, it'll let you know specifically what shots are left, which is great. So if you're playing and you're like, oh man, I can't hit that left ramp or that right ramp to save my life, you can kind of pre um, screen the modes and see oh, okay that one's gonna be right ramp heavy or something like that maybe I'll come back to it later or maybe I'll set it up with a multi-ball speaking of multi-ball yes you can bring in your multi-ball with your modes which is something that every pinball player has been basically trained since inception to do something that we're all been indoctrinated since the 90s that we have to do uh, so I was happy to see that yeah you can stack your multi-balls with your mode and speaking of multi-balls there's tons of multi-balls on here in fact you could actually stack multi-balls with other multi-balls I was able to get the overlord multi-ball started and then bring in area 51 multi-ball which created all sorts of just pinballs bouncing everywhere and it was absolute chaos and I absolutely loved it. Put the biggest grin on my face ever when that was going on. So props to them for getting that code ready and able to get out the door and just have a great experience for all these people new unboxing their brand new Foo Fighters pinball machines. What do you think kid? You like Foo Fighters? In other aspects of the code, there's six cities to go after, so six main modes. You got two mini wizard modes, a main wizard mode, and you also got things like your target frenzy slash bot frenzy. Uh, you've got numerous multi balls, including the Foo Bot, which is amazing for anybody out there that's a Voltron or Power Rangers fan, anything like that. Um, you'll absolutely love that aspect of it. So the code is looking great. And after the gameplay was all said and done, in terms of negatives. I guess you could kind of like argue lack of toys, but to me it didn't really feel lacking. Uh, I suppose the Overlord area is a toy and I know a lot of people like to bag on Stern for producing flat plastics and calling them toys, but uh, that never really bothers me. I know the third party market is going to you know, produce all sorts of 3D printed options, so there'll be a 3D printed van and a 3D printed Overlord for the people that got the Pro machine and I think that'll you know, suffice to say uh, take care of that need if there is any. Uh, but to me, the, the plastics don't look bad at all. Uh, everything else on here is not really, I guess, a toy. It feels more like just a standard pinball feature, albeit uh, implemented in different ways and unique ways. So like there's the in-lane targets inside the, the flippers, which I think is awesome. The kicker target, or the, the target kicker, uh, it's, you know, hasn't been used in a long time. Uh, it's in lieu of a pop bumper, and I think it's nice. It's, it's kind of controlled chaos. It does shoot the ball in different areas but it's not so random like a pop bumper that you feel like it's gonna you know, shoot the ball somewhere and just randomly drain. In fact, I didn't really find any spots on this machine where like it prematurely just drained me unnecessarily. Like everything about this, and I've heard Jack Danger say on numerous different uh, interviews and you know promotional bits about this machine is that he really tried to take into consideration where the ball goes after it hits something, what ricochet it's gonna produce. And if you're out there in the market for a Foo Fighters pinball machine and you're asking yourself pro versus premium, obviously premium, if money was never an object, is the way to go. But me personally, holding them side by side, pro versus premium, the only thing I would personally miss between the pro and the premium in terms of gameplay is the dead post. Now the upper play field is awesome, uh, looks cool and everything, but as far as what it adds to the gameplay or what it takes away from the gameplay not being on the pro, I just, I wouldn't miss it. The magnet underneath the overlord, cool. Again, wouldn't miss it, pro versus premium. 
but I do miss having that dead post feature that the Pro does not have that the Premium does. But between that, Pro versus Premium, either way, honestly, I think they're both fantastic machines. And if you're a Foo Fighters fan or not, I still think you're gonna love this machine. And I think that's what's great about this machine is that it's not your traditional music pen. Like I said, you get the Scooby-Doo Saturday morning cartoon uh, thing going on as far as the animations and the integrations and the callouts versus your standard concert music video you know, background music noise that's going on while you're playing the game. Uh, I think that makes it unique. I think it stands out above all the other music pens that have been released. And I think just the unique gameplay aspect, the combo nature, the fast flowy frenzy of this pinball machine is gonna get a lot of people super excited about pinball. So take it for what it's worth. That's my first impressions of Foo Fighters. If you've played the game, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. That does it for this video. Guys, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit the like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Really means a lot.